Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor. Today we'll talk about Biado Incorporated, ticker name BIDU, traded at Nasdaq. As always, with our images, uh, we have daily uh, candles and we have three moving averages, three lines, red, green, and uh, red, blue, and green being uh, correspondingly moving average 200, 50, and 20. So uh, we have finished today at 88.22. Overall situation is, mm, let's say, proposing that we will continue a little bit down towards uh, end of this week. And this would be very interesting stock to buy at the beginning and mid of next week. The reason for that is very simple. We have here quite weak, but still a uh, channel being formed, or at least some indication of channel formation with very weak top and uh, probably stronger bottom line. And in that sense, anything here would be a very uh, nice entry opportunity. Let's magnify it a little bit. So uh, anything here would be a very nice uh, entry opportunity in that sense, because even if the price goes lower, we still need to observe some rebounds. Here moving average 20, the green line serves as a very strong attractor. So what it will do, it should continue like this and then finally make the turn. Before this turn will be taking place, the price action course, we should observe a rapid move down and it could be either rebouncing from this level or could go a little bit lower. It's very difficult to predict here how low it will go because historically, as you can see, there is no actual line, uh, actual support here that might propose this. So overall, we can only, let's say, wait and expect for some action. Therefore, I would play very cautiously here with uh, three portions of money being traded. So as always, uh, I usually advise like five portion trades. So you buy with the first portion here. And whenever you will see uh, another, another leveling, leveling would mean that the price will start like bouncing and uh, let's say making doji like candles here. It will be second line. And if it go really lower, uh, this one we can actually estimate. If it goes really lower, it would be somewhere here. At this level, at level 73, it should be final rebounds for this action. And then uh, what should be seen here is actually rebounds. So we expect rebounds either from here, from lower or from these levels. And then moving average 20 will work, of course, as the first to this level. If it will be rebounds from the first um, level here, level one, then we should probably pierce a little bit and go to the second level. Then we will see what the level would be. For now, it's very difficult to say. Most probably the same yellow line, the bottom of the channel would work as a very strong entry. So uh, for now, we can only say this is a very good entry opportunity. This would be the second level. We just can take it as uh, something mid to this very strong support line. And the third portion I will keep to buy here. So how we usually buy? At least what I do, again, this is more for advertisement and amusement uh, and um, kind of advertising trading strategy rather than uh, learning how to trade rather than actually calling for action. Um, here, uh, it's so-called uh, three levels nonlinear averaging. So it's one, two, two, meaning that you can buy, you can split your uh, money for buying this position in five portions and you can buy with one portion here and then you can re reserve two portions here to buy and to reserve final two portions to buy here. It will go lower and then on the rebounds with something like 10 plus percent you can sell. Why I'm quite confident that this would be the action. Uh, this is all about stochastic RSI. So stochastic RSI is overall in a, let's say, lower uh, third part. So it's here, meaning it's ready for a rapid move but still might having few bounces before we have really a box formation or box or block formation. What is the block formation? Here you can see a classical blocks formation. So this is one block and you can see while your block is being formed, you have a price going up. This is the second block. Again, you can see the block starts, price goes up. This is the third block. You see in the, in the, the block, indeed the block starts, price goes up. Here, this was a false block, very small one. So that's why it was rebounced. And actually it was a block forming um, the channel, showing the formation of the channel. And then usually when it's uh, after rejected blocks, 
there are a series of small bouncings and causing the price to go lower, even lower, and the vo lo lower volume. Also, by the way, you can see the volume being uh, just standing here. This is clear indication. And after that, the big the big block should be forming. It could be one mono block, or it could be uh, something like this as well. And if this would be like the first block, it will be one big move. It will be like this. The second block, it would be a price action with correction and then final breakout. Anyway, these are the three levels to enter. I would say somewhere around um, 86, second level around 80, and the third around uh, 74. Quite interesting position, but you need to play quite cautiously here. So technically what will define the price action, it will be stochastic RSI and its fluctuations. With this being said, that's it for BIDU. Uh, if you like this way of analysis, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and interesting discussions for US-based stocks.